Hello everybody, uh, I am Hunter Willis, I am a part of the Oshkosh West Index, and today I'm going to be bringing you a Battlefront 2 Let's Play slash uh, review, and yeah, let's uh, let's just jump right into it. Uh, so far I've, I've only like brushed the surface of the game and I, I like it, but obviously there are some flaws, so... I'm going to jump into it today, see if my opinion about it changes at all, and then at the end I'll just give an overall review. I need to. Another critique I have with this game. Loading times are a little, a little long. There we go, alright. So you finally have enough players. It's time for the actual gameplay to begin. Nice little loading screen here. Alright, so we got one there. Alright, nice! So we got Kylo Ren down. Not bad at this uh, whole Anakin thing. Oh, that went well. So glad that this is happening right now. Alright, we're gonna change to Obi Wan now. Must we do this again, General? No Got him! That was a nice one. So I'm I'm confident with where we are right now, because they only have like really one That's amazing. Right. Oh. What is he floating? So far the game looks pretty good. Um no like in, like major like major critiques, but I mean yeah, it's a it's a pretty well functioning game for the most part. Nice! There it is! That's the game! Alright! I don't like how this is looking because I'm assuming. Okay, so we got two people with guns. I'm the only one. Okay. Alright, we got two people with guns, the rest with lightsabers. They have, I'm guessing, all four. No, three. Still, though. I don't trust that at all. Still in last in my team, and I think in the whole game, so I think it's safe to say that I'm better with the heroes, or at least I'm better with Obi-Wan Kenobi, but it's all good, it's all fine. Okay. Well, now we got out of there. Nice! Got it! Yes, the last one. Let's go. Alright. 2-0 and oh in my in my review. That's gonna make me look good. After looking at it from the surface, it seems like Battlefront 2 is not nearly as good as the first one. And I was a huge fan of the first one. And I remember when I got this game, I was a little bit disappointed because I I was expecting something better than Battlefront 1 and, and to me, I just I don't think it really fulfilled that role. But now, after after getting like a detailed look and and play at like all the parts of the game, I think I think that it can definitely compete with number one. Uh, I'm not gonna say that it's better than number one because number one was pretty great and it was pretty revolutionary for its time. But I'm gonna say that it can compete with number one because the the amount of heroes and and the more like immersed gameplay I, I'd like to say like everything feels more realistic in this game and that's a component that I really like but then again that does add a, like a sort of brokenness to how the game is played and uh, I'm gonna say that one of the the parts that needs help is the matchmaking it takes a while to get games going and you often have to sit in empty lobbies for long amounts of time in order to get a game actually going. If you haven't gotten it, uh, I suggest that you do. And 
it's it's super fun, especially if you're a fan of Star Wars. You get to play with some of your favorite characters. It's it's a really awesome experience, and I suggest it for any Star Wars fan, and even just a person who likes to play games. I'm playing on the Xbox One right now, but even if you play on the PS4, it's it's a fun fun game to play, and I suggest it for everybody. This has been my review slash playthrough of some of Battlefront. Thank you guys so much for watching, and yeah, this is. Hunter Willis from the Oshkosh West Index uh, signing out, so thank you guys all for watching.